am 29 weeks and five days. I would have done this video yesterday, but I was waiting on the ultrasound that we have. That way I could show you guys pictures. But long story short, the ultrasound did not work out. We went in for our last, at least to my knowledge, last ultrasound for this pregnancy and period <laughs> for babies anyway. And the baby the entire time had its face squished into the placenta and like my placenta is on the left side and so the baby was facing that and on top of that my placenta is anterior so that means like it's covering my stomach this way baby's face was so comfortable just shoved into that little placenta I spent like 15 minutes trying to get it to move around and I only paid for a 20 minute ultrasound after 15 minutes of trying to get it to move around we finally got the face like a little bit off of the placenta and then the baby goes like this with a foot too. Kid did not want us to get a look at it at all, so we rescheduled it for today at 510. So make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because I will post pictures there immediately if we get some. This is our last chance. We did get some pictures yesterday, but they weren't clear at all. You couldn't really see anything. You could definitely couldn't see like the eye area very much. You could see the chin and it definitely looked like it got my butt chin as I call it. I always call us my butt chin. Looked like it got my butt chin. I'm thinking Chris's nose. But other than that, you can't really see the baby at all. If we are not able to get better shots today, he said he'll just give me the footage from yesterday and the pictures from yesterday, but I am like crossing my fingers that today's scan goes better. Cause I'm just like, is my last ultrasound guys, my last ultrasound, unless something happens and I need to go to some other ultrasound like for this pregnancy, this is the last ultrasound that I'm like planning on having ever and it's kind of bittersweet i have like super clear pictures of all of my kids around this time and you like when they're born they look just like their ultrasound pictures i would love to get like a cute little picture just to have for the future for baby books and whatnot please cross your fingers that tonight's ultrasound goes better so symptoms this week i have been having an insane amount of heartburn and i know that that is said to be related to like the baby getting hair but I know that it's not necessarily that. I don't know, I kinda hope my baby's born with hair. None of my kids were really born with that much hair. They all kinda have like peach fuzz type stuff. So it would be cool if this one was born with more hair, but I'm definitely not counting on it because I'm pretty sure Chris was bald and I was mostly bald also. So I talked about this in one of my recent videos, but I can feel my face getting fat. I don't know if it's just something that like I can tell because I look at my face every single day, but sometimes my lips will even feel swollen. I'll even feel like a little bit swollen too. One of my main symptoms this week has been that pelvic bruising feeling and a lot of people were telling me that that could be related to I don't remember what it was called but there's like a name for it and it's where like your pelvic bone is like splitting or something I don't know I don't really know too much about it but all I know is that I have been getting this terrible feeling especially when I'm like on my feet a whole lot and it feels like somebody's repeatedly punched me in the vagina it hurts it doesn't look bruised, you know, so I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it's so uncomfortable and it hurts so bad. Also this week, I've been getting a ton of Braxton Hicks. Every single day, probably at least twice a day, I'll have Braxton Hicks contractions. And of course they're not painful. I'm just like, oh, I can feel it. Like I know that I'm having a contraction. I've definitely been noticing that I've been having a lot more. So if you guys haven't seen the video already, Chris and I did a predicting our baby's gender video with a ton of old wives tales and just like different kinds of theories and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna put a link to that video here and also down in the description. If you haven't seen that, I wanna know what your guys' guess is based on the old wives' tales and just, I don't know, maybe you guys are like psychic or something and you can just know. Although we're wanting this baby to be a surprise, I love guessing. I love looking at the different theories and looking at the different like old wives' tales and stuff like that just for fun because really nobody's gonna know what the baby is until it comes out and we look at it and see what kind of junk it has. <laughs> we did get the crib set up this week and we got a lot of the baby stuff set up. We got like the drawers sort of organized and we got things more so in place. Obviously, if you've been watching my videos, we've been rearranging my whole bedroom and that is where the baby is gonna sleep. So we got the crib set up and we got the bedding set up and it's looking so nice and I just wanna like hang stuff above the crib now. Once I do that, I think the nursery part of the room will be pretty much done. So the last really symptom that I can think of this week is none other than my stomach getting huge. <laughs> I know I say that every single week, but this week I've been noticing specifically like these last few days, my stomach is getting in the way of like my daily routines, like my typical daily routines. Like I was making a sandwich today. My stomach was literally hitting the counter to the point where I had to kind of bend over to <laughs> like put the stuff on my sandwich. So 
so I am constantly hitting it on stuff and I feel so bad. That's probably why the kid's hiding from me. I probably feel safe tucked inside of that placenta, so I really can't blame the kid. But yeah, I hit it on stuff, like I'll be walking by and like I hit it on the fridge, I hit it on the counter, I hit it on chairs. So thank God that baby is like super protected in there because I would have got a concussion with how many times I hit it. I feel so bad. So other than that, that's really pretty much it this week. I'm going to make sure I remember to measure my belly this week. I have my tape measure somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 29 week belly. All right, so here is with the shirt on. And here is with the shirt up. All right, so let's measure this thing. Looks like I'm at 41 and a quarter, maybe, I would say. Yeah, probably 41 and a quarter. So anyway, that is it for this week's video, guys. Like I said, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, because that's where I'll be posting the ultrasound pictures later, and then I'll show you guys in next week's vlog, too, but that's like a whole week away. So <laughs> also make sure you go watch our gender prediction video. Like I said, I'll have a link down below so you can watch that and make your guess. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys next week for week 30. It's officially like the countdown at that point. <laughs> All right, bye guys. My days are pretty boring. I guess something better than nothing. What is the maybe dream? From where? <laughs>